Debbie with the food prepping channel and this morning I'm gonna fix me some breakfast I haven't had any breakfast cooked in a long long time so I'm just gonna only thing I'm gonna do is I've got some eggs I'm gonna fix some eggs and I've got some jumbo buttermilk biscuits and I've got that um, already cooked bacon but you put it in the microwave or whatever and get it really really crispy and I absolutely love that I'm hoping I can find some oh gosh oh, <laughs> it scared me I was opening the biscuits and they popped usually I have to hit them on the side of the table but these just popped right up there I've got my oven sitting on 375 and it says to put these on a uh, baking sheet or whatever that's not, what does it say? Place on ungreased baking sheet. So that's what I'm doing. I hope it doesn't ruin my baking sheet. I've been trying real hard to keep these good. I mean, looking like they're still new. I've got the big one, and I've got this one. And if I roast vegetables in them, I usually put a layer of aluminum foil and then a layer of um, parchment paper. Okay, so there's this. All right, so these are going to go in my oven on um, 3.75 and then I'm gonna get out the eggs and the bacon and I will bring y'all back okay y'all I'm back all right so I have the biscuits in the oven and now I've got out a plate of bacon and this is this is what this is I get it from Sam's oh, let me zoom out still can't it's black label fully cooked original bacon and it's 72 slices and i think it's like um it's four one pound packages of raw bacon e oh it's equal to four one pound packages of raw bacon um and then it says refrigerate after opening and i'm telling you i did it with this one but i'm telling you the ones that i've gotten before i didn't ever see that on there um refrigerate after opening so i don't even know if i've ever put them in the in the refrigerator but here is how it comes the can you see in there see it's each it's got little pieces of the bacon in there on each set of the paper or whatever and then you just use it until you you know it's gone put it in the fridge and i'm going to put this in the microwave and my i hit some i said something that made my phone go off don't ask me what I have the worst luck with phones. All right, so there's my bacon. All right, so I'm going to put this in my microwave on one minute. And I think I'll get it out and I'll bring you back and show it to you. But I don't think it's, oh, it's going to take us one minute. All right, so let me sh I'll bring you right back. Okay, y'all. All right, so here is the bacon. That's one minute. And... Well, let's see. 
there's that. It just breaks in part. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Now, I have a problem. I got this apple jelly from Gross Orchards in Bedford, Virginia. And I can't get it open. I've got this thing from Pampered Chef that I have never had a problem opening anything with. And I can't get this one to open, so I'm going to go and run hot water on it. And hopefully get it um, to open, so I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. Alright, so I ran hot water out on it around the lid. Hopefully, see, just put this on there. Is you can put our way okay okay yes I knew it mmm mm -mm. apple jelly I love apple jelly and biscuits okay y'all let me get out here and get the pans fixed so I can fix my eggs and I'll bring you back okay y'all all right, so I put about a tablespoon of butter oh, shoot, in my frying pan. I have such a hard time. Well, I think it also because the camera's here, too. Let me see if I can get it over here. Yeah, having to lift my arm up over the camera. It doesn't make things easy. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this up. Alright. Much better. I'm going on and fix six eggs and sugar and mocha. I'll give them some... Sugar ate some some of the ham. I gave her a little bit of ham. She loves ham, and somebody said the other day on here that dogs couldn't eat pork. I thought the only thing that dogs couldn't eat in the way of meats was turkey. I hadn't heard nothing about. Um, I just did that one-handed, y'all. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it again. Oh. Yep. All right, so, um, I've always heard you couldn't give dogs turkey, but not pork. And so she had some ham earlier. Some of the ham that I've got put in the beans. All right, so... This is my new wave, my induction cooktop, and I've got it on 275. It's on medium, which is 275, and I'm just doing the eggs, mashing them up. I want some scrambled eggs and biscuits and apple, apple jelly on my biscuits. So I got bacon, eggs, and apple jelly biscuits all right now let me I've got to go in there and put these eggs up well let me go in and finish cooking them because they might this is the main pan and usually nothing well I this this thing that spatula or whatever that I'm using is real wiggly, <laughs> whatever it's called. It moves back and forth. Or usually I have a spatula that doesn't do that. It's usually harder than this one. This one is soft, so it bends back and forth. All right, so let me get out of here, finish fixing these, 
get them on my plate, get out the biscuits, and fix my plate, and I'll bring y'all right back. But this is how you fix scrambled eggs. You put, you just put, I put my eggs in there, and a lot of people put them in their bowl and scramble them. But I just put them in here and then break the, the um, center in here. I don't think it's really gonna, it makes any difference either way that you do it. But to me, it's just easier to do it like that than to mess up another bowl by scrambling them in a bowl when you're gonna scramble them in this, in the pan anyway, so. All right, they're getting done, so I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, all right, so I'm back. All right, so I'm gonna butter me two biscuits here. God, these biscuits are, are huge. Oh, come on. These are not supposed to stick, but that one did. Mm. And I always have and always will use country crock butter, well, margarine, whatever it is, um, for fat and saturated fat. See, nutrition, look, 35% vegetable oil spread. So I don't know. Anyway, I always put butter in my biscuit, and I like to have a lot of butter. And y'all are going to say something, I mean, this I don't know whether this is, I don't know what country crock is. I don't know whether it's, um, I call it shed spread because it used to be called shed spread and it had shed spread right there, but it doesn't have it anymore. I don't know why they stopped that. All right. Y'all can't even see, can you? I'm sitting here putting butter in my biscuit and y'all can't even see. All right, I always put a lot of butter. All right, I'll put this on here until it starts melting some. Let me get me some bacon. This bacon is so thin, but I love it. I love thin bacon. Mm. All right, now, let me get some eggs. If I can lift this pot, pan, whatever. I didn't put any salt and pepper on them. Oh, I forgot. It's been so long since I fixed scrambled eggs. I love scrambled eggs. Right now, let me get the salt and the pepper. like eggs without salt. That's one thing for sure. <clears throat> All right, now I'm gonna get out this apple jelly. Let me push this back over here. I'm, I'm gonna put some in my biscuits and then I'm gonna have to take a picture. So I'm gonna have to let y'all Get y'all off of here for a minute so I can take the picture. Mm. I bet this is going to be so good. <laughs> Look how much I put on there. Let me taste it, see what it tastes like. See if it tastes like apple jelly. I hadn't had apple jelly since I was a little girl. Is it sweet? Oh. Ooh. Very, very sweet. Okay, y'all. Y'all can see that. All right, let me get off here and take a picture, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, y'all. All right, I got to taste this, this apple biscuit, apple jelly biscuit. Um. 
Oh my gosh. That is the best thing. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, I know that y'all think that I'm silly for videoing this this breakfast. Because y'all probably make everything. But this is so good. And y'all, it's so quick to make. Mm-mm-mm. And when I was growing up, my mom used to always fix breakfast for dinner. And she'd fix hamburger gravy and biscuits and eggs and mm. and she'd fix the potato what's it called? Hash brown potatoes or whatever. She'd fix those. This bacon is so good. If y'all have a Sam's near you and can get this Hormel that was Hormel or no. Black, Hormel, Black Label. If y'all can get that and cook some in your microwave. Y'all saw, I cooked it for 60 seconds. And that was like, what, nine or ten pieces? I didn't even count it. Mmm. Mm-mm. I need to start fixing breakfast more often. I love it. But I never do. All right, y'all. If you like this video, go get you some black label bacon and fix that in your microwave. <laughs> fix you some those the eight count biscuits. These were buttermilk biscuits. Get some buttermilk biscuits and some scrambled eggs and fix y'all some breakfast like this too. All right. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and to my Instagram, and also below there is links to different things that I have purchased from Amazon that I use in my kitchen, and if you see something that you um, want to get or whatever just click on it doesn't cost you any more it's just that i'm an affiliate with amazon and i do make a small amount like i think it's one to four percent of something if y'all um get it so all right i will talk to you later y'all have a good day bye